This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Organizations funded by federal agencies are beginning to take a closer look at their finances and how they are spending their money. Nine on your signs, Veronica Acosta has more on how one organization is bracing for a longer shutdown. Veronica, good morning. Mark, good morning. Well, our family services, they work to eliminate homelessness throughout Tucson. But as that partial government shutdown continues, they're trying to keep their focus on those they help rather than the funding that they get from the government. Now, the organization CEO, Beth Morrison, she said she was unsure if they'd received their funding for the month of December, but early Friday morning, they were lucky enough to have that money come through to them. Now, as the shutdown continues, she says she's looking ahead toward January's funding. Now, they're also bracing for an increase in the number of people who might need to access some of the services that they provide. Mark? All right, Veronica, thank you. Happening today, a veil man found guilty of murdering his stepdaughter in 2017 is expected to be sentenced. Joshua Lelevere faces life in prison after he was convicted of first degree murder and seven other felonies in connection with the slaying of his teenage stepdaughter, Jaden Glome. Also happening today, jury selection is set to begin for a volunteer for no more deaths. That's a Tucson based advocacy group. Scott Warren is accused of harboring and conspiring to smuggle migrants into the U.S. illegally. Border Patrol agents arrested him last January. He has pleaded not guilty. Arizona Governor Doug Ducey and state legislative leaders say approving a drought contingency plan before the end of this month is their number one priority during the annual session, which starts today. The contingency plan must pass this month or run the risk of having federal water managers impose unspecified measures. After almost two decades of drought and increased Increasing demand. Federal officials say Lake Mead, being behind Hoover Dam, could fall low enough to trigger cutbacks in 2020. Now for a look outside, let's head over to April. Good morning, April. Good morning. You know, we typically see some of our best colors in the morning when we have clouds and about a half an hour before sunrise, and that's happening right now. 47 degrees, and this is the view looking east. You got the city lights. You got just enough light across the Rincons to see. It's going to be a gorgeous sunrise with all those clouds. We're not seeing a whole lot of the rain. It's mostly to our west, but we're not going to rule out at least a light shower throughout the day. We'll call it about a 10%. Otherwise, it goes up to a 20 to 30% Tuesday night into Wednesday. And and maybe even another chance late Thursday into early Friday. Existing chances throughout the week, but also staying in the mid to upper 60s. Thanks, April. For more news and weather updates throughout the day, you can always go to our website. That's kgun9.com.